we have a guest today, and I, Mersh, my, Mersh, please introduce our guest. Uh, yes, we, we have uh, on with us today, streamer, um, and uh, a frequent guest of the Simcast, and uh, what, what, influencer? I would is, say? That, is that fair? Uh, is Leanne that, is Star, that not fair? Uh, no. The woman no, who... don't say influencer. That's like the worst. How about under ever. the inf- How about under the influencer? Is that good? Let's, yeah, I have seen you. This on... looks really shitty because I don't use Zoom, so I don't know. Like, you're fine. Why it looks like that, but hey, look at us. You're fine. Yeah, don't worry. You, you just it, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> it looks like it's uh, weird. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. I don't, you guys don't. What care, do you mean? It looks fine. weird. It looks looks fine. I don't think influencer is a bad word, though. I've seen you post a lot of Twitter things about you know trying to influence people to stop trying to fuck kids. So that's I think pretty that's, good. That is, in yeah. a way, influencing people, right? Like, hey, maybe yeah. chop less kids' dicks off. Yay, let's do that. That's that's okay in that context, but I just hate that fucking word because it's stupid. Everyone's an influencer. Everyone is famous online now, so I mean, doesn't matter. I mean, I guess that's true. That's a good point. Uh, just how many people you're influencing, right? Yeah, I mean, there's people with, like, 50 million followers and or, like, 4 million on TikTok. I've never seen them in my life, so. Are you on TikTok? I don't get TikTok. I don't get um, it. I, they banned me at, like, <laughs> I had, like, 130K. <laughs> Wait, and they then... banned you while for, for, saying, for saying spicy things, probably, right? Honestly, I don't know why. I think it's because I posted my Instagram. That was, like, the last straw. Mm-hmm. Like you're not allowed, I guess. Even oh, though it's you're not allowed to bio, you're not so. allowed to plug you're not allowed to plug your your other stuff. I guess. I have no idea. I have no clue. They never tell you why. Um, I still had videos in appeal from like last year that they never even looked at. So I don't. I have no idea. But that was right after they did that. So who knows? I had, but I have I had a backup. A, but I don't really. I'll post. I've been posting on it more because they said it was going to get banned. So I just been posting whatever and seeing if they take it down, but yeah, they th- haven't yet. I only had one. I had a TikTok for one video that I uploaded one time mm-hmm. when I was dancing that Nicki Minaj. It was yeah. when I was shaving my beard off yeah. for something, and I was like, "All right, you know, you, you're gonna shave your beard off. You got to get one Hitler stash photo because you know I'm immature." And uh, I took the video with the Nicki Minaj song, <laughs> and I think I was immediately banned from TikTok for Wait, dancing. Wait, you got banned just from that? One well, yeah, I was, that well, I was dancing it with a Hitler mustache on in black and white to Nicki Minaj. I but not the Charlie that. Chaplin mustache. That I was know. not fair. They mm-hmm. fucked you I up, know. bro. That's what happened. I made now one, my cats are on TikTok. I made one TikTok video also, and it was me saying TikTok is for faggots over and over again. And I'm, it's still and he's up. Verified, and it's still up. And he's verified. Which is super weird that it's still up. But really, yeah, I really did do that. I, I checked the other day; it's still up. Apparently, so uh, so yeah, they don't really have rules. They don't enforce them equally as usual, like with all these platforms. So you really don't know. Have you tried you being do. a teacher grooming kids? They let those on TikTok. Do that. You'll be on t- front page. Yeah. Have you tried being a grooming teacher? Be a grooming teacher. Well, one of the most disturbing things that I've seen was, this is recent too, where there's like women breastfeeding their kids that are like old enough to chew steak Mm -hmm. and talking about their OnlyFans at the same time, like on a live. And there's like thousands of people in there. Bro, there's a woman who just got convicted of that. That was doing shit like that. so bizarre. Yeah, there was a woman that got convicted of that. These chicks need to be Virgie, get me that? Yeah, some, some woman got arrested and convicted for making like, sexualized videos that were breastfeeding and they were always like they were just always pushing a certain line but convicted for what but for what like for for well because she started saying really overtly sexual stuff towards the end of the like yeah towards the end of her little career there or whatever you want to call it and it was starting to be like okay this is just pornography (laughs) like this is you know this is just i've seen three just in one day, so I so don't okay. Know. I don't know this. So just real quick, is just TikTok's a, bit, a fucking so what, cesspool. So, so what bro. you're saying is, that there's TikToks where they use it under the guise of like you know breastfeeding is perfectly natural, but yeah. in reality they're using it as a way because of because it, you know if a breastfeeding video, in my opinion, has like like a million views, it's mostly not dudes looking at not people looking at the like, what a great mom. Yeah. It's weirdos, right? Yeah, and they know that. They know. You know that. You're not giving tips. You're not... Like, you can do that without showing your tit, and they don't. I mean, this one kid had to be, like, six, five or six. Mm-hmm. Maybe four, but I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry. This, uh, I apologize, because this, this is... I did not hear anybody. The five-year-old breastfeeding? Well, yeah, you don't yeah. want your kid to be underdeveloped. But what about what the I teeth? Mean, <laughs> 
I don't, that's what I mean. He could yeah. choose state. Like, at, at that point, choose state. Five and at that point, you got some of your. Uh, at, at that point, you have some of your permanent teeth coming in. <laughs> what? Yeah, the it's fuck? so weird, and they don't take it down either. It's wild. Well, it's TikTok. You could it's, probably it's find the, it on there every day. Yeah, every day. T- I don't even know what you search because it was just coming up. I'm not gonna. Like, first off, I'll probably I promise you something. I am not gonna be searching for that. <laughs> well, I, I can explain to you why they don't take it down. Neither, because but it's just there. It's there. It pops up it's organically and shit. No, I know what you mean. I take like it's in the algorithm where it'll, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, fucking but TikTok, weird. TikTok's operating as it's designed. That's why they're not yeah, taking well, it well, down. It's a no, Chinese designed cultural septic tank. So you know, like. People always will say, well, you're one of the one making the algorithm. That is not true because I was working with people that try to catch predators online and I signed up as a 13-year-old girl, didn't do anything, different phone, not mine. The first things that came up were like kids dancing with tons of makeup on, tube tops, mm-hmm. sexual, weird shit. I didn't do anything. Like I didn't, that, that's not true. That's not at all. No, there's like, um when we were hanging out with uh, uh, Alex Rosen who does Predator Poachers um, when we went to Austin and he I think we were going out so Royce was getting mm-hmm. ready I was already ready to go out so me and Rosen were just sitting there talking and he was like upset because he's always on the grind trying to catch these dudes and he's mm-hmm. like I think I just found another dude man he followed my decoy account and he's like showing me in real time how he does it on Instagram but then he goes yeah. check this out he's like you want to see how easy like it is to hook up with child pornographers on here and I'm mm-hmm. like. Not really, but sure. Like, <laughs> like you mean just show? He's, dude, he clicks his fucking the, the following list that this guy is following, and there's literally pizza symbols and CP in the in the names of the Instagram oh. accounts, and they don't post anything on Instagram, but they post like harmless pictures of random kids that they take off the internet and then like people follow these accounts and then they send you a link to telegram and then you go on telegram and that's like dude he's got these guys clocked so when he goes on now he's like look at the follower list boom boom bang he makes lit like he's a fucking sight he's like a charlie kelly with the pepe sylvia and it's always sunny in philadelphia <laughs> he just has a cork board of pedos behind him and these decoys and he's just like and then we're going here and we're gonna go up through appalachia and i got like nine guys we're gonna hit along the way and then we're gonna circle back and get another 12 and you're like jesus this guy never stops yeah, i would totally do that like, yeah he's the I, best i mean i do now but not to that extent but it's very easy to get them to start talking to you even after like i always make sure to tell them i'm 13 so there's no mistaking it, and they do not care. Like, at yeah, all. it's That's, wild. It is fucked up, man. It, it's why. It, first off, you, hook, you should hook up with Alex Rosen. I'm sure he's always looking for help. Uh, and also on top of that, like I was watching just another one, like Trilogy Media, who normally they're, they're normally you know it's like a basketball dude and like the uh, the the. That, that little Jewish magician dude. They, they usually go after call scammers and shit like that. Okay. But they did a pedo sting. The amount of people, mm-hmm. like in a small like area, that they mm-hmm. it would be, it's like, it's like twenty people. Like this is fucking bad. Rosen drops two new catches a week, and mm-hmm. he's behind. He's always behind. He can't. He can't even keep up with all mm-hmm. of the catches, which is yeah. like f- staggering. It's mind numbing to me how many people are. And TikTok <sighs> is m- one of the worst, but also what's really bad. Like if you have kids, if they play Roblox, dude, Roblox is a cesspool of predators it's really wild. yeah it's i guess wild. i guess like in their chat and stuff like like, like yes. they have the, okay yeah Damn. i know two people in my real life that has happened to their kids of people saying inappropriate shit to them on that game and yeah they'll pretend like they're kids and then they'll start asking them weird sexual Ew. questions like it's sick like they're everywhere everywhere they have so much access to kids now it's wild and I, like, but, but like like mercer saying earlier by design I mean, it's by design, right? I mean, it's a straight pipeline. It's 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 a straight pipeline to do it. Look yeah. at that. They want to they want to they want to get parents out of decision making in schools too. I mean, it's what it's 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 what it is. But I mean, this shit's blown because I mean, obviously, I'm forty. I'm not going on fucking TikTok. I don't give a shit. But yeah. But but I guess that's an issue because it's basically just it's the playground for this yeah, Li- like a literal things. a literal playground yeah. where they're with some guy with a weird mustache pulling up in his Iroxy. <laughs> And go like, hey, want to do a TikTok challenge? It, it's weird. It also, it's also bad because like kids nowadays are not as close with their parents. They're not getting taught good values. Uh-huh. They're not getting taught good lessons. 
So it's like, I remember being a kid, like, when the 56 came, age came, to you know, and we started having, like, AOL dial-up and shit. Mm. And, like, bro, there were pedos back then that were trying to yeah. bang us. You know what I mean? But, like, we had decent, we would go, like, yeah, wow, dude, you're pretty fucking weird, and I'm just going to report you. This is fucking, like, you know, even as a kid, you're like, this is fucking weird, dude. I don't know what you're into. Well, um, you know what me and my friend used to do on Yahoo Chat? Because Yahoo Chat was, like, to me, the OG disgusting cesspool of perverts. And, like, I was, like, 9, 10, and we would talk to these dudes, tell them that we were, like, 12, whatever, mm -hmm. and have them come meet us, at like, a few houses down from her, because it was, like, this weird abandoned house. It was boarded up, vines everywhere. They would come, almost every single one, and we would hide on her porch. It'd be, like, 2 in the morning, like, dying laughing at these dudes, <sighs> like, driving around the block, walking. They'd keep Jeez. looking, and they'd look nervous, but they would still go up to the fucking house. Even though it looked shitty and decrepit, they still did it. Like they still wanted to meet. It's us. like it's like one of those houses, like when like when people would like steal yeah. a credit card number, it and that's like where they have the packages like shipped. Like a, right? Yeah. With exactly. The yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like the house yeah, from the we burbs. Did that all the time, which was probably really dangerous, but <laughs> probably, like really probably, cared. yeah, baiting pedos. <laughs> yeah, little girls baiting pedos at ten. Yeah, yeah. that's that couldn't be we dangerous did, like, at we all. We would just sit on our porch and laugh. Only one time there was like he was probably like. 19 maybe he wasn't too old and he kept walking up and down the street and he seen us on her porch and asked us about something about the house and we're like oh i don't know who lives there but that was the only time we ever like interacted with them but usually they would just drive around the block and then keep looking and you they didn't want to do it but they had that urge where they would do it like they would go up to this house it looks abandoned it's dark there's vines everywhere there was like boards and you still went up there. Like, that's how powerful it had. Like, it's... it's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, and, 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 and that's back then. Like, we're saying now, the yeah. ease of access now it is... Dude, Rosen had some uh, guy trying to meet, get kids to meet him at his church. Wally was at church. Yeah. Wow. Fun fact, the only episode he ever wore pants. Because he, like, he, he was going to a church. He always wears basketball shirts and a regular, like, fucking Under Armour shirt. It was the only predator poach where he ever wore jeans because he's like, well, we're going into a church. Well, like, Okada, you know I mean? like, let's show some decor. Okada Trash, going back to the Rob Ro Roblox things you brought, Leanne, was, said uh, Roblox is super bad. There's also private modded servers where they have animated sex act. Oh, so it's becoming mm. like Second Life? Right. I, it's what, it's what mm. I'm reading. That shit's fucking wild. And, and I can't, dude, I'm sorry, but this breastfeeding thing is still fucking me up. Yeah, you, it's yeah. literally, you, it, there's a, there's a, I just, just, just Google breastfeeding TikTok. There's a fucking lot. And a lot of these children look like they're at least yeah. in first grade. <laughs> yeah. I like watched one for like 10, 15 minutes just to, uh -huh. to see like, what is, are you giving tips or no, no. Mm -hmm. And then she started talking about her OnlyFans. That's how I know. I was like, are you fucking mentioning your OnlyFans right now? I was like, oh my God, this is so disturbing. I reported it, but I guarantee nothing happened. So. No, it, it's, it, but the other thing is, it's not even, it's a monster. Like, like, how do you, how do you even go after, like, like Merce was saying, like there's, there's a bunch. Oh, of there's a way. Well, no, there's a way. Okay. There is. There, I try to listen, tell parents. That's, there, I, I'm like, dude, you have to pay attention to this shit. Like, it's not. It's you're giving them like, mm -hmm. it's open season on your kids, dude. Like they will find a way, and it's wild. There is the a, ways. Like you said, church. Like from working because I do work with sex traffic victims. Uh, from that and dancing and stripping, dude, the most perverted people were highly religious because they use it as a shield to abuse people over and over and over again. So, yeah, you got to watch there, too. Yeah, trust <laughs> like, me. There's that one guy that was like a, a huge pedophile. Um, Oh, my God, I can't remember his name. They had like shows on him where he was working. Jimmy Seville? Like physically huge or prolific? <laughs> No, prolific, so, okay. huge. Like, I can't remember his name. <laughs> this is gigantic Scully. pedophile. Like, he stood 10 feet tall. <laughs> but he was in, like, church and doing missionary right, work right. and, like, abusing these poor kids, like, mm. over in Vietnam, I think, and other places like that. But he was with a church. Of course he was. Like, they always use that. Well, always. church or schools or anywhere you have access, right? Anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere you have authority, I think, is the best way to put it. Anywhere you have, yeah. like... And it also sucks because they've tainted, like, legitimate mentorships and That's stuff, true. right? They like, did. there used to That's be the sad. Big Brother program. There used to be, you know, there used to be dudes that, like, maybe they were, like, used to be an athlete. And now they were, you know, whatever. They got an extra day off a week. And they go out, like, 
you know, help some kids with their baseball pitching and stuff. Nobody wants to mentor anybody no. anymore because nobody wants to get called a pedo. So now no. even all the on like then that now we're at the point in society where if anyone's hanging around little kids, just fucking lock them up because at this point, even well-meaning people are like, hey, like even if it's a friend, it's like, hey, can you come over and teach my kid like some stuff about baseball? Mm-hmm. And you're like, you're gonna be there the whole time, right? Because I don't yeah, want exactly. any fucking. You well, know, when Louis C.K. had that joke when he when he found he found the lost kid in like the the subway, yeah, and he was and like, he was like I had to hold the kid's hand because I don't want the kid to get lost, but I don't want to walk up to parents with bald redheaded idiot <laughs> holding a kid's hand, and it's like it sucks though because that it turns like even turns well-meaning people. Into like mm-hmm. you, you know like, yeah. ah. like if, if, if I'm in a store and a kid comes up and's like Mister I'm lost I would probably start screaming security like I was being assaulted <laughs> I'd be like security yeah. get a car over here I know I'm not <laughs> it's that terrifying happened at the airport there was a a guy and his wife and a little girl and she like slipped on the escalator and like almost fell. And my guy friend that was with me, I was like, you you should have like grabbed or at least tried. He's like, no, I'm scared to. I don't mm-hmm. want to touch his mm-hmm. kid. I'm like, you're gonna let her get eaten by an like a escalator instead of just trying to help. Yes. But yeah, and the answer is yes. Because of that. Yeah. You want to register sad. as a sex offender or watch this escalator violently eat a child? I'm going with the latter now. Yeah. I don't want to go to prison. Uh, I was like, oh my god, that's so sad. Like I get it, but it's just.